Assalamu alaikum, my name is Umad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Chamber. So, where I talk about Clavier Event Marketing and Figma Email Designing most of the time. So, if these are the topics that you want to learn more, so don't forget to subscribe my channel. The channel name is Marketing Chamber. So, today basically I am here to discuss with you 10th class of our Figma Email Designing series. In 9th class, I discuss with you how you can export and import in Clavio your email design okay so how you can export your email design and import in Clavio and how you can set it up how you can send a test email before shooting out the email campaign so if you have missed it out so time is not over so you can go to my channel and you can watch it out Okay, so then in this class, I am going to discuss with you the gradient types in Clavio. Sorry, Figma. Okay, so basically there are four gradient types. So the first one is linear, then angular, then radial, and then diamond. Okay, so I will discuss with you the options related to these gradients, and I will discuss with you how you can Im implement the gradient in your email design. So let's get started with the first one, linear gradient. And how you can get and where you will find where you will see these options so for this uh, let's have a rectangle here and then go to the fill color and click on this one so here you can see the gradient so here you can see the gradient types so the first one is linear radial angular diamond okay so before discussing the types uh, I would love to discuss with you I would love to share with you this uh, these options okay so this one is a color point this this is another color point okay and from here you can uh, rotate your gradient like this and from here you can flip the gradient like this and this one is the starting color like zero percent okay and this is the hundred percent you is like you notice zero percent uh, uploading hundred percent uploading so this is the starting point zero percent this is hundred percent so if I set it uh, like uh, end point at 50, so you can see the end point is at half of the full line. Okay. So let's have it at 100. And these are the colors of gradient. So you can change. Okay. And like this one. And from here, you can adjust the transparency. Okay. Uh, 60. And from here, you can cancel the gradient like this. And you can add from this icon. Okay, so hope uh, you understand these options. So what is basically linear gradients? So in linear gradient, the gradients are in same line. Here you can see the gradient are in same line like this. And let me zoom in. Okay, so let's increase the size of rectangle. And again, go back to the gradient. And uh, you can uh, change their uh, like uh, directions. Like if I want to make them at cross angle, so go to this circle and when you see when you notice four lines of your arrow so then drag it using the left button of your mouse and paste it here uh, and again same with this one and here you can see now the gradient is in this line but it will be in the same line okay and i want to take this to this point okay so to show you uh so here you can see so in art like here you can see the line is not uh, straight so to make sure it is straight and uh, just press shift and then uh, drag it okay so now you can see the gradient is in same line so the main point i want to like uh, make sure you understand the gradient line gradient are in same line okay and how you can implement this in your email design. So I have an email design for you. So here you can see we have implemented the gradient here. Okay. So in the background, you can see the gradient color. Okay. So here it is. So from here, you can also adjust the uh, like transparency. So let's get back to another type. And you can add the color points, more color points. If you click uh, like like if you want to have another color point here so just click here so you can see 
okay so i can change its color you like where you want to add the color point just click here and if you want to delete this one so just select and press delete from your keyboard and uh select this color and press delete uh from your uh sorry delete why okay now delete what's going on okay so now i want to delete this now delete 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 okay so actually uh like uh, color code was selected so that's why so now let's move to the second so radial so in radial uh the gradient is uh going outward in circular form here you can see basically there are two colors so this one and this one so this color this gradient is going outward in circular form in radial form for that reason it is known as radial gradient okay so you can adjust uh the color points like this okay and you can again uh move this color to like this okay so this is and these are the same uh, i discussed before so then second one is a uh, third one is angular angular mean uh making an angle like the color points will be uh making an angle with each other so here you can see this is the one color and this is the second color so they are at some angle okay so again you can uh, like uh, move them by just dragging using the left button of your mouse and you can add more points uh, here you can see if i click here so you will see another color point okay and if you want to delete it so press delete from your keyboard okay so and then next one is diamond so in this gradient the gradients create a diamond shape here you can see okay so again you can uh, like move these the colors from this line okay up or down you can again uh, like add the color points so just click here okay so these are basically gradient and i discuss with you how you can implement your email design so this was our today tutorial uh, gradient how to implement and what are the types and what are their meanings so let me know how is going on your figma email designing series experience and don't hesitate to share your feedback stay tuned and stay happy thank you